my dear Aquarius, this is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Taroa. And I read in the order of birthdays and this time I wish happy birthday to Leo. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a four elements pick a card reading up what will happen for me in August for the full members to this channel. And how can I refine my goals to achieve my true potential is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I use the steampunk tarot with Barbara Moore for the readings part. And I will start shuffling your cards. When I open your deck here, I see the sun card uh, together with three of cups. Uh, so this shows that this person is um, very much in love with you. They are regarding you very highly, uh, but they also want other people in their life. It doesn't necessarily have to be like other love partners, but uh, they are very social, outgoing and want to have a lot of fun uh, happening in their life. They want to have fun with you, but also with other people. I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the nine of wands uh, together with the three of cups. Uh, so they feel like you are jealous uh, with them when they are hanging out with uh, uh, other people than you. Uh, that you feel kind of abandoned in those uh, situations. Okay. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And we have the nine of cups together with three of cups. So they wish that you could have like a, um, a life uh, on the side of uh, this relationship. So whenever they were gone and doing something else, you would be happy on your own. Nine of cups is connected to hermit card. So being happy on your own, fulfilling one's own needs. I call the six elements. And here we have judgment together with three of cups. Instead, they are feeling like you are judging them uh, for hanging out with these other people. And maybe you fear that there's something else going on than what should go on or that they are maybe cheating at you or something similar to that. And I can't just say that they aren't because this is the significator and we see um, like people being surrounded in an environment that seems a little bit sensual. Okay. But it's not saying that they're actually doing like anything wrong. I'm just seeing that they're relaxed amongst other people. So six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. So I want my dear Aquarius to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to Walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Okay. So I will tune in for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind, and what this person would want to happen between you two. So they kind of want to say that you are not the only one that they enjoy hanging out with. They also enjoy hanging out with that group and that group. And they have so many social contacts that they need to entertain. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is um, what they would want to have happen. And we see the two of pentacles. So they feel a little bit chased here as they need to be on, in two locations at the same time. And uh, that can be a little bit difficult. And this is what they most like, the most like action and the evolution of the relationship. So the Empress here, um, it um, for me, it feels as it shows it's three, as we saw the three of cups being the significator. Uh, so you are the main person in their life. If let's say you are their best friend or you are their, um, their partner, their lover, their husband, their wife. Um, or um, whatever relationship you have. So you are very significant to them, but there's other people being significant too. You are maybe the most significant person because this is a major arcana card. It trumps 
the Nine Arcana card, Three of Cups. But Three of Cups, that situation, it also makes them happy. Okay. Uh, so this is just from their point of view. I'm not, uh, like, for, in this stage, I'm not telling you what uh, you are supposed to do or what they are supposed to do. And it can be so many different situations. For some of you, uh, they are actually having affairs. And then you kind of have, uh, like, a reason to be upset and judge them. And then, of course, you need to decide if you want to stick around for even more of those kind of backstabbing behaviors and if it's just them going out with their pals once in a while <laughs> maybe it's not such a big deal okay so it's different degrees in hell we always need to remember that so this is their intentions and we have the queen of pentacles she goes very well with the empress it shows that it's with you that this person feels like they belong uh, and uh, this is their feelings ace of pentacles it's like a fresh new start. They would want to have a, a fresh new start or a second chance or um, be able to fulfill these relationships through potential. Uh, but for that to happen, they feel as if you need to understand uh, their need of social, uh, bigger social circles. Okay. And this is how they view you, the king of wands. So they view you as a person that has a lot of authority and you are wise and smart. You have a lot to, um, you have a lot to say. And when you say things, you usually are right. Um, so I don't know exactly what they mean with that, but possibly they think you're right in everything else except from this. <laughs> okay, so this is how they view the relationship, page of cups. So it seems like they want to woo you or make you interested you know, or either stay interested in the relationship or make you interested in the relationship again. Or even this can be a new relationship because we have the Ace of Pentacles and a Page of Cups here. And if that's the case, this person wants to make you their special person. Uh, so maybe they have met you in a social uh, situation and uh, they want to make you their special person in this social situations okay and this is what they would want to have happen four of pentacles so this person has boundaries it's certain things that they don't want to yield to even if you have a lot of authority and they might tremble a little bit standing in front of you when you say something they still want to know this is i need this i want this uh, so they feel like it's something they need to stand up for but they feel scared standing up for it in front of you okay it's a little bit like it's the situation that could cause you know a quarrel or a battle of will uh, so they don't feel um, like they have any authority in this situation two of pentacles is very like oh you know riding your bike not having the best balance particularly in waves with rocks maybe page of cups is just a child and the Four of Pentacles is a very stubborn card, but together with these others, it's like, yeah, uh, they put their foot down here, but it's with a high pitch, squeaky voice. <laughs> okay, they are not uh, sure. They are scared that, you know, big judgment will come over them and you will get angry with them or, you know, tell them that they are wrong. Uh, but still, they need to stand up for this, even though, you know, thunder and lightning comes over them. And uh, this is what they uh, would want to, I like the most likely action. And we have the star card here together with three of pentacles. So they want to work this out with you. You are their most significant person, like the person that they want to um, build a future with. And uh, they feel like more connected with you than what they do with others. And they want to do both of you to work on this relationship so that it becomes healthy and just and fair for everyone. And here we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, so for me, when I'm holding this card is as if they are aiming towards becoming this partner to you. Uh, but as they come with a page of cups, they're probably not as mature so they can take this more authoritative role. Um, they want you to be equals. They don't want your uh, word word to weigh heavier than their word uh, they want the same respect uh, from you uh, that they are giving to you 
So even when you think they are wrong, you still need to understand that is their point of view and not to drive over them with a big lorry truck, at least from their point of view. Okay, it's like this. They feel like they shiver. Uh, it doesn't mean that maybe they have, um, you know, maybe they quarrel with you a lot, but they don't, you know, they don't pay attention to that. And they just feel like they are helpless and they are quarreling because they are trying to convince you that they are right. And for your point of view, it seems like, oh, they are always so angry. I need to be careful so to not make them angry. So for you, it might be the other way around. Uh, it's very hard for us in our limited vision to know the impact we have on other people uh, and um, what's right and what's wrong. If we haven't been able to walk a mile in the other person's shoes, we are, can't really be sure <laughs> what's right and what's wrong because uh, we haven't really seen the situation from an above perspective. So it's very hard to judge here who's right and who's wrong. You need to decide this, each and every one of you, for yourself. And here we have the Ten of Wands. So it's like preparing for a uh, battle or, you know, tying your fist, um, expecting some kind of challenge here. Ten of Swords. <laughs> oh, hmm. It feels as from their point of view, you have already judged them and uh, you have made up your mind about them and uh, you are going to believe what you feel uh, no matter what happens. So they can't convince you that they are a good person and that they are, you know, loyal or um, that they are entitled. They need to have their freedom so they can be happy because from... What I'm seeing here, from their point of view, you don't want to give them their freedom and, you know, they can have freedom, but then they will get all of it. Uh, they won't see, uh, you know, um, anything of you anymore because you will break up with them. So at least this is what they fear, but it's also the evolution of the relationship uh, that it's um, ending because um, you are not hearing them out and you are judging them uh, for their need to have more social relationship. It doesn't have to be just social relationship. It can be that they want to do something that's fun, a hobby, or, or maybe it can even be something that they love to do as in shape and form of a career. Um, something that kind of drags them away from you, drags them away from home, doing something else that's fun. And, and they don't feel like this is allowed. Uh, are they being unfaithful? Uh, even if this says no, probably some of uh, you will still have a relationship where the person is unfaithful. Uh, because again, you know, it's many degrees on the scale. So some will be unfaithful, some won't. But this is the most, you know, common. I was trying to be bulletproof. Uh, that's more this, you know, feels like they're gr grimacing with their whole face, trying to keep this position. Um, so are they, when they want this freedom, are they, you know, not to be trusted? I think about you every day. So it kind of says that they are to be trusted, but you don't trust them. And they are trying to keep this, um, like their, their boundary that they want to have, be able to have freedom. They think about you every day, but they want to do other stuff. So can, can this person be trusted? Sword in the Rose, it's a... It's like in the knight in shining armor on a white horse kind of card. It's, um, uh, it's a person that wants to fight for your love and they are loyal in their heart. Okay. Uh, so what's your point of view here then? Not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundaries, still angry. Well, <laughs> it's this, what I'm seeing here. Um, so you don't believe them. And that's okay. Like you need to follow your own intuition, your point of view. I never felt safe loving you. I was in my own head. I think you are scared of something that have happened to you before. You're scared that it will happen again with this person. Uh, and therefore you don't feel safe uh, loving them. And you always wait for the other shoe to drop from the, for them to do something that will mean the end to the relationship or like a real betrayal. And even if you suspect it or you haven't have any proof, uh, you still want to end it because you can't take like the anticipation <laughs> waiting for this other shoe to drop. So you, you get so anxious with 
uh, you know, this tension. Uh, so it's better to break up with them. Like either they were unfaithful or not, or either they were stabbing you in the back or not. <laughs> so, or loving you or not, because for some people, it might not be that you think that they are unfaithful. It might just be that you don't think that they love you. Um, this person loves you, but uh, probably they don't have the strength to go on and reassuring uh, you all the time uh, so for example if someone is always like this oh you don't love me and uh, I know oh, you looked at that person and you probably think they are more pretty than me and oh, what where are you going and where what why were you gone so long and you said uh, you were going there with your parents but I realized that that restaurant is closed since you know 10 years so where were you really and you know this kind of thing uh, and it's um uh, it's making both of you on edge and the relationship a little bit problematic. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's just that now, right now this person wants you to look at this, like your stuff. It might be that it's the other way around as well. Uh, for some it will be like this. I want to clarify the Queen of Pentacles, but I think there will come a longer story here. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's something repeating in your life uh, over and over and you want to put an end to it. It should never happen to you again. And therefore you are like my way or the highway. If you believe something, you are going to stick with it because if you believe it, it's true. And um, if they try to tell you like another reality, you just think that it's lies. And therefore it's the relationship ends here because I think you end it because you can't stand being with this person where you believe that they are not faithful or do doesn't love you. But they are just trying to keep their boundary. The Four of Pentacles, it's the same card as there. They're just trying to, you know, not um, lose themselves totally in this relationship. Um, they want more to life than, like a relationship, nice, but they want more to life. And when they want more to life, you don't want them. It's as if you can't wait for them if they need to go, uh, you know, on a job for three months or you can't uh, uh, stand them being with someone else, like sho choosing uh, their friends over you, for example. Then it's like, OK, bye bye. Uh, see you next life, maybe or never. <laughs> so, OK, I want to clarify the Queen of Pentacles for once. They want to have a stable relationship with you, possibly marry you or um engage um move in together things like this clarify the ace of pentacles emperor we have the empress emperor queen of pentacles king of pentacles uh, so they feel like um, that this relationship has potential that this could be the one and they want to give it like a chance ace of pentacles chance king of wands clarify six of swords they know that you're just trying to solve a problem and they trust your wisdom in so many cases but uh, so if you would say that this person is not to be trusted they would probably believe you but when you say you are not to be trusted they can't believe you because they know that they can be trusted okay clarify the page of cups um, two of wands nine of swords ten of swords it's very difficult for them to keep this boundary to you because it means that uh, they will lose uh, your love uh, ten of swords ten of swords uh, so either they give up themselves or they give up the relationship or you give up the relationship for them so okay <clears throat> clarify the star card uh, two of pentacles it's this card um they have more than one thing in their life uh, that makes them happy and they want to be able to fulfill all areas of their life not just the ones that's connected to you clarify the three of pentacles and we have the king of cups so they love you they want to work together with you find a compromise clarify the king of pentacles and um, magician um hmm I think they have, I feel like they have future plans for your relationship, 
but also if you are not going to agree with them having their freedom they don't want any plans for your relationship at all so they might also be on board with this breaking up stuff here clarify the ten of wands uh, strength card they want to uh, keep um, they want to be intact as a soul be able to do more than one passion okay but it's also your strength here what i'm seeing that you don't want to be mistreated and this is not anyone's fault really um you have your reasons uh, to suspect them but it might not be the exact reason that you think maybe they are trying to protect like one area of their life that's for them and you know no one else should put their nose in it and you immediately jump to the conclusion that they are hiding something that's uh, you know personal towards you and would hurt you it might not be the case uh, when we are caught in our uh, karmas we get a little bit blind and the way that we got hurt is now the way we hurt others maybe you got abandoned by someone because they thought that you weren't uh, uh, you know honest or good enough or worthy of love and now you're acting out the same scenario towards this person you have decided that they are unworthy in some way uh, page of wands clarifying the ten of swords i think there's a chance for this relationship but you need to you know both of you need to start communicate what's really going on i think you get stuck stuck in your patterns this person on their edge where they're saying well I need to be allowed to do something else than just being with you and then you feel like oh they're so respectless like they don't even love you at all uh, and uh, <laughs> and it becomes distorted this this way because then you say okay so um, break up with me then if you want so much freedom and uh, so you both you put yourself on the you know very edges <laughs> instead of trying to come together and compromise a little bit and uh, this is the divine advice woman holding a heart sometimes when we fall in love with someone we become so vulnerable to that person we might be able to let you know everyone in the whole world do whatever the age they want okay but just this person they are not allowed <laughs> to do whatever the age they want uh, because that's the only one you really care about uh, in this kind of way or the only one you think can hurt you in the special way that you have been hurt before so when we fall in love sometimes we can go a little bit crazy with these kind of things and become a little bit um, stuck in our fear uh, so we, and then ending up creating of course what we fear the end here or being all alone or left or abandoned uh, so if we are super possessive of a person of course they will leave us if we are very jealous of course they will leave us if we act like we don't love them they will leave us if we act like we don't just care about our friends and our career they will leave us so everything that we are fearful of we usually end up creating it so the woman holding a heart it shows here that you are uh, you are loving this person uh, but um, this also makes you extra vulnerable in this situation and, and therefore you might act um, out a lot of your fears Let's see here i don't feel worthy of love uh, so you act out this you think that the other person also feels like you are not worthy of love and that they will prove it to you uh, you know any day <laughs> and you just wait for this awful event and then you suspect it now it happened now they did it no tomorrow they will do it they will do this awful thing and uh, it's not a way to enjoy a relationship uh, let's say that you have gotten um, the news that you have an aneurysm in your heart and you might drop dead like any day like an hour from now 10 years from now next week no one knows uh, if you would live in anticipation waiting for that day uh, you will not really live at all uh, it's better to just okay i have an aneurysm i can die any day like all people will die we don't know if we'll die uh, tomorrow or in 30 years but now i have this threat to my life uh, but i need to live my life so we live our lives fully uh, regardless of the aneurysm 
uh, we might get our affairs in order, have a little bit more tidy house. Remember to have, you know, nice underpants, things like this. If In case that uh, we die just this day, we don't want to leave a lot of mess uh, to our uh, loved ones. And we don't want to, um, you know, make a fool of ourselves in front of the paramedics. <laughs> so that can be a thing. But if we constantly will wait, wait, oh, today will be the day I die, Ugh, you know, with the hand against the forehead like this. Um, you could at least, you could as well kill yourself already or break up already because the relationship is already over or the, your life is already over because you're only living in this fear of what will happen. Okay, uh, caring connection. So people care about each other in this connection. Try to find a way to communicate in ways where you're not polarizing yourself so far. Actually saying, um, I understand that you need to have other hobbies. It's just that I get so scared. Uh, I don't feel worthy of love. And, and therefore, I think that you are choosing someone else that's better than me. And I, I'm left alone probably it has to do with some kind of bullying situation either you weren't maybe you were the black sheep of your family or bullied at school or um early like your first love abandoned you or, or something like that that has caused this kind of fear but there's a way out of it and it's like live today <laughs> care about your like if you die tomorrow if the relationship ends tomorrow okay so be it but you know live and be happy today enjoy the relationship today okay so I would urge you to watch the love reading for August or the what do they want to happen reading from previous month to get more information about this relationship. On my first channel page, there's a playlist for your specific astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist. On the end screen, you will see a link to that playlist. So go and check it out. And if you want to see the channel's readings in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal readings for elements readings and all science readings for the full members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the different levels to the join button that appears or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. So uh, thank you for watching this far. Remember to like and share this video and hit the bell notification on your way out to get an update when the next video is up. Until then, stay blessed and bye for now.